of the uh, players that have renewed as of now have been proactive. Uh, and this is uh, necessarily so far because uh, of the um, impending elections and no one wants to take chances. So uh, I think, uh, I mean, the surplus, the Elands, and uh, also the Shells that have decided to renew have uh, taken, have been, have, been, have been proactive to ensure that they don't get caught in the web of. Uh, the, the political season. Political possibilities. Yes. No doubt the elections have been playing a huge part in the decisions that we have been seeing yes. in the last quarter of 2019. So let's now uh, take a step back and look at the legal basis and parameters for the renewal of OML licenses in Nigeria. Um, so OML licenses uh, renewal has been less controversial and less controversial perhaps because the provisions of paragraph 13 of the uh, first schedule of the Petroleum Act appears quite clear that uh, if you pay your royalties, if you pay your rent, and also if you comply with uh, other conditions stipulated by the minister, then the, renew I mean the, the OMLs uh, would stand renewed. And uh, I know there's been an argument as to whether the minister has the discretion or not to renew. Uh, but my view, and, and this, is also, this view is also held by a lot of uh, stakeholders in the industry, is that uh, the, the Petroleum Act or the language of the Petroleum Act gives a legal discretion for the minister, provided that you can comply with the terms and conditions imposed by the Petroleum Act, I mean, by, um, uh, under the lease, and also payment of rents and royalties, then, I mean, you should, or the leases should get renewed. This does not mean that we've not had a few controversies in the past. Uh, I mean, like I said earlier this year, government decided not, and that's actually not controversial in the, in the real sense. Uh, government decided not to renew OMLs 31, 33, and 36, which were all belonging to uh, the Shell, SPDC, and NPC JV. And uh, essentially, the reason was that uh, the, the assets were not uh, were not uh, worked upon. And uh, so, perhaps, uh, I mean, that's a good basis for renewal. And government is well within its rights not to renew. Uh, but uh, I think the the most recent controversy is not so recent because it happened about a decade ago. And that happened uh, with regards to OML 67, 68, and 70, for which uh, was, uh, I mean, which had mobile assets. And uh, the issue was whether the, the Minister of State of Petroleum Resources uh, had the powers to renew as opposed to the substantive uh, minister. And um, I mean, I recall that uh, the issue was eventually resolved. Um, I mean, I think uh, government at that time, the concern was that perhaps maybe uh, sufficient uh, consideration was not paid for the renewal. So, um, in terms of um, um, controversies around renewal, I don't think it's so much of, of a controversy, but uh, what makes it as exciting as this time is because of the election period. Is there any part of the very much dissected petroleum industry bill that addresses these discrepancies? Well, yeah. Um, uh, so the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, which is uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, I mean, is not yet, uh, we don't have an accent yet, but I understand that uh, a revised bill has been forwarded to the uh, president. So hopefully we should get some, I mean, we should get uh, the bill, or the bill should get assented to before the end of this administration. But uh, uh, under the Governance Bill, uh, consent issues, uh, I mean, not renewal issues rather, uh, will be handled by the Petroleum Regulatory Commission, maybe as opposed to what we have now, whereby the minister sits at the top of uh, everything. So, um, we, under the governance, we will have more uh, governance structure in terms of how the uh, both even that even the governance and administration of the industry would work. Um, for now, we still do not have, like I said, uh, there are no challenges with regards to the renewal process. Because uh, most of terms, them, yeah. most of the operators yeah. applied ahead, like you said. Let's yes. look at the cons. In the case that some of them I'm, are unable okay, to okay. secure renewal before the next elections, yeah. what becomes of them? So in the event that some of them are not unable to secure renewal before the elections, well, the government is a continuum, and I would expect that uh, the next government should actually treat the applications. Then, And that also uh, ties to the uh, point I made before now, that there's little discretion on the part of uh, the minister with regards to renewal, if uh, all the terms and conditions imposed on the licensee has been met, and uh, royalties and, uh, and rent has been paid, I don't see why uh, renewal should not be made, I mean, should not be gotten. Um, as far I mean, as that said, said, yeah. To so, what extent will so politics be a, a Exactly, an issue? and that's what I wanted to say that that said, uh, I mean, maybe my response may be a bit uh, naive, 
uh, there's a possibility that uh, maybe for one reason or the other, and we've seen that uh, in this country before, that for one reason or the other, maybe a present government does not like, uh, as quote and unquote, does not like the faces of the promoters of certain businesses and may not be comfortable in ensuring or in renewing uh, the licenses. The truth is that in the event that um, such an, uh, I mean, you have such a decision or action challenged in court, most likely such a stakeholder would would uh, be successful because paragraph 13 of the Petroleum Act is quite clear. I mean, you, once all the conditions have been met, there's little discretion. And let's assume that um, there is the discretion of the minister with regards to renewal. The question you would ask is that should that discretion be judiciously used? And if, uh, and looking at the circumstance, if a leaseholder has actually met all the conditions for renewal, then why not? I think the special thing about also the renewal process do, is that uh, uh, now, you know, government has said one of the conditions or one of the conditions for which you, as, you can renew is to show us your gas for a commercialization yeah, program. I was going to ask to what and, extent yeah. that uh, law which should come effect into effect in 2019 will affect OPL and OML licensing and renewals. Yeah, uh, I mean, the, the truth is uh, before, so for all the uh, players that have actually renewed by now or that have gotten their renewal, most likely they would have um, provided a sufficient gas utilization or commercialization program to support their application because the government has said if you do not give us a good or a defensible gas utilization or commercialization program, we wouldn't renew. So I would assume that most of uh, the uh, stakeholders that have renewed have actually given or presented government with a good uh, commercialization program.